and I know Thanksgiving is over. Yes, but but why do you have to not have pumpkin pie again? Exactly, like and the, again it, and again. It's this injustice in the culinary world that pumpkin pie is Thanksgiving and no other time, right? It's no, true. I didn't even have it for Thanksgiving. I had apple. Oh no. Okay. Oh, see, no. I like the apple pie. Oh, so do I. Nothing um, against but apple. I will eat both. <laughs> At one I have time. no problem with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. this is a sky high pumpkin pie yes. because, as you can see from the cover of the magazine, <laughs> it's like you know the height of our heads. Yes, it's very indeed. big. It's a tall pie. So it's pie. not just it's not just a, another pumpkin pie. This is like the sexiest, most gorgeous, mm -hmm. amazing pumpkin pie. Okay. But it's still going to have that lovely pumpkin flavor, that pumpkin pie flavor that you're looking for. But a couple of just little extra easy twists. Okay. Um, and the first one is some candied pecans. Now candied nuts Yum. always seem to me like I remember before I learned how to make them. I was like oh. Oh, you know, you gotta get the sugar, and I'm sure there's a thermometer involved. No, look, this is just a hot pan, yeah. medium high, some pecans. I'm gonna take a little bit of sugar and sprinkle it over, and that is it. What's gonna happen is that's all it takes. That sugar is going to melt, okay. and it's going to become this crispy. Can you hear? I could eat a whole jug you of these. You can go right ahead. I right love the nuts. So, um, how long does it usually take before it gets down to that? A couple of minutes. Oh, I am gonna turn this off though because I have been known to burn nuts. Yeah, me just, too. Just saying. Okay, yeah. so now on with our pie. So instead of making pastry, yeah, ginger snap crumbs. Oh, nice. Just ground them up. Little ginger snap. Exactly. Okay. And, and then this is just your uh, standard pumpkin uh, filling. No, yeah. sorry, not pumpkin filling. It's pureed pumpkin. You can get something called pumpkin pie filling. Mm -hmm. Do not buy that. Mm, bad. You want pure pumpkin. And that's just going to come in the can in at the, the grocery can. store. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Now, pure if pumpkin. you feel like roasting a pumpkin or even a butternut squash, yes, you can also do that as well. That takes a lot of time, people. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, open the can. You can buy it in the can. Exactly. So it makes it a easier. these are your traditional um, additions: some brown sugar, uh, cinnamon, cloves, uh, nutmeg, yeah. salt, yeah. and then to mix it up, we used coconut milk. Oh, nice. Yeah. Now, if you don't have coconut milk, or you want to, eat, um, you know, you don't feel like opening a can, or it's a holiday and you can't get to the store, right? You can just use cream or evaporated milk. You just want some kind of nice, lovely dairy. You could probably, I'm going to say this out loud, yeah. use soy milk. You could, huh? You could. You whatever, could. whatever dairy works exactly. for you. So, are you a fan of the coconut? It's coconut everything now. Have you I noticed know. that? I love coconut. It's really good for you. I, I in fact, I, I know somebody whose nickname is Coconut. Really? And I love him. <laughs> He's got this kind of like, like fluffy kind of top on his head. Like his hair looks like He's a kind of a, a coconut. coconut. And everybody calls him Coconut. It's like, hey, we're going to Coconut's house for dinner? So you it. just love all things coconut. I do. So look now at now you is, put in three eggs. Actually, it was five egg yolks. Five egg yolks. That was a good guess, though. Sorry good about guess. that. But this is why you read, read, read a recipe. That's right. You know, that's why I always say. Cityline.ca will tell you the right way to always. do it there. Now we only <laughs> use the yolks because you know what the whites are going to be doing. They're going to oh, be the meringue. Okay. Yes. So that's just that's way you don't have any extra whites that or looks yolks so around. so good already. Okay. So uh, boy, that was easy. I'm kind of out of things to do with that. So, I know, right? Yeah. So you made the crust. You, made the you crust. You crushed up the, the, the ginger, ginger snaps, snaps and um, you made the filling. You make the that filling. In. Now the crust bakes a little bit first okay. until it just becomes sort of cookie-like. Then yeah. the crust goes in. And you bake it just until it's sort of set. Because this doesn't actually bake again once it comes out of the oven. Yeah. You put the meringue on and then it doesn't bake again. That's it. So this gets all smoothed out. You put the foil over it, you bake it, and then ta da, this that is what it so looks perfect. like. perfect. Mm -hmm. And for people who have never tried a pumpkin pie before, it doesn't taste mm. like pumpkins. Mm. No, it tastes that, like. You know how long yummy. it took me to try pumpkin pie? Because I was like, I don't want to eat pumpkin in a pie. Mm -hmm. That's not what I'm going for. No, but it's I know. nice and sweet. It's the spices that oh, you're that's after. That's good. Now, the meringue. Okay, I'm not going to turn the mixer on because it's going to be noisy. Right. But meringue, so you just take your. Um, egg whites and a little bit of cream of tartar and you just melt a little bit of sugar with water okay and you pour it in while you've got your mixer on mm -hmm. which I don't want to do because it'll get stuff yeah, all over you not. and that's not pretty just pretend and so then what you have is this see how glossy that is right. It's absolutely glossy but this is cooked meringue okay so it doesn't taste like a lemon meringue pie meringue it tastes more like a marshmallow Oh, oh yeah, oh, yeah. That's a so good thing. So it's just like a big old pile of melted marshmallows. Do you find it hard to stop yourself so that the consistency doesn't get any softer than that? Like you want it to be sort of that glue. Yes. Kind of sticky. Now this is soft because it just it, you know it's sort of deflating a bit while we're here under the hot lights, but yeah. it does get quite fluffy. Mm. Um, and oh, it's just hard not to eat that. That's so perfect. It's so yummy. Just and get a spoon. Mm, mm, so good. <laughs> And then scoop off the top. You just want to torch it. So all you're going to do is turn on your broiler in the yeah. oven, 
and you're going to watch this like a hawk. You're not going to answer the door. If there's a child, you know, somewhere, you're, you're going like, to sit there with you're your gonna eyes <laughs> in the glass. Because everybody's watch. broiler is different. Yours yes. might be hotter than mine. That's and so you just want to watch it and turn it. it. But if you happen to maybe have got a, maybe somebody gave you a blowtorch <gasps> for Christmas. It. So you just turn on your blowtorch. Where and, are your goggles? And then Do we need them? You don't really need them. This okay. is a this is a kitchen blowtorch, and you see it just you just torch it, and you're oh, just looking awesome. for color. These are so fun. Now, if you have a real size blowtorch, or you've got a man in the house who decides he wants to help out with the cooking, yeah, okay, don't let him burn it like that. Yeah, like don't I do I that. <laughs> but that's okay. We just wanted a little bit of color. You just want a little bit of color, and then it also has that marshmallow taste, like it's been in a campfire. And to end it all off, you put some Couple of your candy candied pecans. candied pecans on. That and is gorgeous. Look yes. at that pie. Let's go to break. We've got more coming up. Stay with us. Cabaret Edition City Line. I want to try that. Okay, well that